Hey, what's going on? Quick one today, and the subject is beliefs. Now, this is probably not something that you have probably thought about much when it comes to business and things like that. And honestly, it's not really something that I think about a lot either. Um, but this last week, I spent the week in uh, the Cancun, Mexico area with a group of 80 people, all business owners from all over the world. And this week is spent uh, listening to talks, presentations, doing uh, small groups where we each introduce ourselves and we discuss problems that we're uh, trying to solve and we try to help each other solve them. And the rest of the time is just spent hanging out with people, talking to them, listening to their story, uh, listening to them talk about what they're up to, what, what's going on in their business, their life, things like that. And every time I go to one of these events, you know, I go at least twice a year, but honestly, I try to do this as much as I can. Every time I go, um, other friends of mine that didn't get to go for whatever reason are always asking me, what's your big takeaway from this? Like, what did you learn? And they, they really want to share in the experience. They want to learn what I learned so they can make the same kind of gains that I'm making. And it's not an easy question to answer because it's like, well, I learned a lot of things. And, you know, some of these events, uh, some of these weeks will end and I'll feel like, man, I feel like I learned a whole bunch, but there's not like one specific thing that I can call to mind and just be like, this is what I learned. Um, and so this morning um, I was part, I'm, I'm part of a lot of groups like this. And I'm, I'm part of this group where someone comes in and presents twice a month. And uh, usually these are really high level people. Like this guy in particular, his company, um, it did 12 million uh, last year and they're on pace to do 30 million this year. And so, you know, I'm, I'm definitely not even close to that level. So hearing people on that level talk about it is, is why I'm in these groups. And one of the things he mentioned was that it was instrumental for him to work for this guy who was doing these kinds of things. Like five, 10 years ago, uh, the guy that was talking today was working for another guy who was making these big moves, who was doing millions of dollars a year. And he said that like one of his biggest gains from this was just uh, seeing him do it and relating to him and realizing that he could do it too. Um, and that right there is an example of his belief. And that I think that is core to everything that we do. You know, if you're, whatever you're doing today, it's because of a belief you have. You know, if you're driving around town, picking up materials, taking them to a job, whatever, it's because you believe that if you do these things, you know, you will get X result. You'll, you'll be able to pay the bills this month or, or you'll be able to keep your business going, like wherever you're at. Whatever you're doing, it's because of beliefs you have. And same things for things that you're not doing. You know, I think we all have things that we're like, oh man, you know, I really wanna do this. Um, but maybe you've been saying that for years. Like I know that there are certain things that I've been saying I want to do for years and I still haven't done it. And it's like, why haven't I done it? Um, and I think it comes down to I don't truly believe that doing that will get me the result I want. Because if I did believe that, I would have just done it, right? And so I think beliefs are just core to everything we do. If you want to ask yourself or if you want to learn more about your own behavior, eventually if you dig deep enough you'll get down to your core beliefs and those are what dictate what you do and i think for most of us we grew up around all sorts of people and those people instilled their beliefs onto us and so i think a lot of us have a bunch of beliefs that we're probably not consciously aware of that were instilled on us by other people and for like entrepreneurs or business people that want to break the mold of the normal person you know, in their environment and get to a much higher level, one of the things they have to do is recognize what these beliefs are and break out of them. You know, stop letting other people dictate what you believe. And you know, if you're just starting a business now, chances are you've told some people like, oh, I'm gonna go do this and I wanna achieve this. And you might have some people in your life being like, oh, well, that's not possible or that's not gonna work. And it's dangerous to let those beliefs enter your mind and become your beliefs. Because if you believe that it's not possible, then you're probably not gonna try. And it's then it's 100% not gonna happen, right? And on the flip side, 
Um, if you're just around people or you see people, maybe on YouTube, you know, maybe you've been inspired by my channel. You've seen me achieve certain things that you want to achieve. And, and so you're like, oh, well, I can do it too. You know, that happens to me all the time. I'm around people that are achieving what I want to achieve. And I'm like, oh man, well, I mean, they're not even that good at talking to people or they, you know, they seem kind of stupid, but they are killing it in these areas that I'm not killing it at. So it, it just helps me realize like, look, if they can do it, I can do it. And that really is the reality of this world. Like, unless you're seriously hampered by something, like you can achieve just about anything you want to. Um, but it all starts with believing that you can do it. Because if you don't believe you can do it, you're probably not gonna have the gumption or the motivation or whatever to actually take the actions that you need to take. So that's my lesson for all of us today is we got to pay attention to our beliefs. And if you don't have the beliefs you need to achieve what you want to achieve, then you have to work on that first. Some good uh, people to look into. Tony Robbins is one of them. His work that he did back in the 90s is very big on this stuff. You know, I don't I don't really follow anything that he's done in the last 10 or 15 years. But, you know, things that he did a long time ago really focused on the belief stuff. It really helped me a lot. Um, I think Bob Proctor is another one. Alex Hermosi, he's on YouTube. He's a good one. Um, so, you know, writing down what you believe or just getting started on that, it's not always easy to just be like, oh, I'm going to write down my beliefs because we have so many and they're so core and deep inside of us. But writing down things down over time will help you kind of realize this stuff. And, you know, chances are you're, you're, you maybe have a morning commute or you're driving around a lot you know, turn on these podcasts, these videos, listen to these guys um, that will help you change your beliefs to those that you need to achieve what you're trying to achieve. And I guarantee you will make huge strides.